we all know what a stream deck is, right? So a stream deck is you get these buttons right here and you load them up and once you click it, it opens it up on your computer. Uh, they're really good for OBS. Uh, if you're gaming, if you're making videos, well, so, you know, whatever you're doing, it's really nice to have. Uh, they're just they're quick launch buttons is basically all they are. Well, now Fifine has joined the game to Stream Deck. So that is what we're going to be talking about in this video here. So here is the Fifine Ample Game Stream Deck right here. So this is, again, this is what we're going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to do some comparisons between uh, this and the um, Elgato Stream Deck and see if this is actually worth your money or, you know, if we should wait, if it's still an, a product in production in a sense. Okay, so the first thing, let's get the cat out of the bag. Fifine did provide this to me to use. Um, they didn't really want me to do a video or didn't say, you know, here's this to do a review of it. So uh, they actually wanted me to play around with it for a while. I've had it for a couple of weeks before I, I decided if I wanted to do a video. And I do want to do a video because this is out there for sale and people are going to probably start looking at things like this. Christmas is coming right up. So... Uh, but my thoughts are my thoughts alone. No money transpired. They're not sponsoring this video, but they did provide me the product. So that's out of the way, right? Let me get the second caveat out of the way. Come on. 90% of y'all are not subscribed to my channel. I am new. Yes, I get it. I'm new. Look, I, I'm going to bring informative stuff. I'm going to bring honest product review for your money. Your hard-earned money is more means more than anything right now in our economy. In 20, at the, right here at the end of 2024. This is October 2024. And we don't know how bad the economy is going to get next month with the presidential election, are we? No, we're not. All right. <clears throat> so just like the stream deck right here, uh, we have our buttons. So uh, we got the five fine control, so we can create a folder. Of course, drag it just like the uh, Elgato. Scene shift, we can shift different scenes, brightness. Let's go over to toolbox, so website. I already have a website here, so I'm gonna click it. I have it set to Best Buy. These are one reasons why I really do like the Stream Deck. And I do have the Stream Deck, as you've seen in the intro. Uh, I'm just trying to show the comparisons between the Stream Deck from Elgato and the Ample Gain D6. So again, you can put text in here. Yeah, I mean, the same thing. You have all this stuff. You got your audio player. Let's see, Operation Flow. Of course, the main one, which is what a lot of people use these for, is OBS. And here's your OBS. You can add others in here. Uh, your VMix, your shortcuts. YouTube, what else? What, useful notes. Here, I mean, here's this. Here's some more. Uh, this is some of the packs that I downloaded, which we're going to get into in just a sec. Uh, bar Raider, so speed test, voice mod. All right, let's go up here to settings. So we have our general settings, which, of course, you can check for your software update. I'm already at the latest version. Uh, English, power on, device, again. So you had the software version, or in general, your software, and then device, of course, is the, the device itself. You check for the firmware. I had the latest firmware. The brightness, how bright I want my icons to actually be on the screen. So uh, you can re replace the boot logo. Uh, you got your scenes. So again, you got different scenes right here. So if you set one button to a scene, if you know anything about the stream deck, so what you do is you set one of these to scene and you, when you click it, it opens it up and that scene you can have OBS. Well, then you have another button, another folder button with a scene. You click that button and then it will open up to your web pages, so on and so on. So there's a lot of different things that you can do uh, with it, just like the Elgato. So now let's go to discover their store. So it's not as all decked out as Elgato, okay? So I'm just gonna let you know that right off the bat. So course straight off the bat they are saying or showing their product so here's all their plugins that they have as of today of october i believe it's the 18th yep october 18 2024 advanced screensaver stopwatch battery obs tools like i said i already installed that one you got your twitch tools so again you got quite a bit here and i'll get in and i'm going to show you know of course uh, the stream deck because there, there's more there. But then you can click here and do it by category. So business tools, audio, utilities. You know, you got different ones, gaming. You got a lot here. So now let's go over to icons. So now we're underneath icons. 
this is where this one here falls a little short than the Elgato is the icons. And this might, you know, y'all might just turn from this video. I might not even need to tell y'all. I might not, but I will. Um, the icons I already have. Where's it at? I have the metal. I'm trying to look at it. Oh, right here. The metal armor. So on the metal armor, again, you just, you either load it or you unload it. And, uh, but I have the metal armor on my, El, my Elgato and the, there's flames that move on it. There is no movable, um, icons just yet. I can imagine that there is going to be a update, a software update and possibly a device update for this. Again, this is Fifine's first one. You do get um, 15 buttons on here. And we'll, we'll get to that just a minute. We'll get to the buttons and the price and all that. Go ahead and open up the Steam Deck. Or excuse me, the Stream Deck by Elgato. So same thing. They have all their stuff right here. Let's go ahead and minim, you know close some of these down. Again, so, kind of the same similar layout. Click on it. You can change the icons. You can you know, navigate, create. Um, I see multifunction, soundboard, system, so website. So just the same way, go here. And, of course, we can put in bestbuy.com, com, all right, and enter. So now when I hit the button over here on the Stream Deck, it's going to open up Best Buy. So same thing. Uh, again, you don't want it there. Same way, you click on it and you can delete it. Oh no, excuse me. Here on this one, there's actually a little trash can where on uh, the Fifine, you have to right click on it. Settings wise. Settings wise looks just about the same. I mean, it's Fifine and, you know, taking some of their, their stuff. So underneath general, it's the software device. Here's the device. Uh, you can click on advance. Uh, they have a, a few more in here. Again, I just redid my PC, so I'm not logged into anything doing anything. And of course, the brightness, just, just like the Fifine. I mean, they're both the same. All right. Now let's go over to the, the Elgato's uh, store here, which are going to be the plugins and icons. So plugin-wise, they have quite a few more, right? as far as their icons themselves go. So like uh, Discord, for instance, I didn't see Discord in there. You'll have to just do, you know, you have to make your own for Discord. It's not that, that the Fifine, Fifine cannot do it. You just have to make your own to do it. Oh, and that was plugins. Sorry, not icons. I said icons. That was your plugins. So now let's go to icons. Icons, and this is what I was talking about, I wish they showed more. Let me get to the metal gear real quick. There he is, metal or metal armor. So now, see, it's showing you what they look like. See, if I find it this a little bit better, I think that'd be nice. But you got 246 static, and then you get the animated icons, which the Steam Deck Stream Deck does. The uh, Fi Find does not at the moment. That's about the only major difference as far as the software goes and what you can have. All right, so when I was talking about the icons earlier, so here's the uh, Fifine one. You see the little bell icon right here? You see the, the flames are in it? You know, it's pulling that that icon from the metal armor. Now, I, I made one on the Stream Deck by Elgato, and you see it moving, it's actually animating. Now, if that's a huge thing for you, then, you know, then you might want to go with the Stream Deck. But as far as the majority of it, no, I'm not seeing it. One thing that I do want to say that I wish is there's not enough of an angle for when this is sitting on your desk. It's, you kind of got to look over at it where I wish you could it could be propped up a little bit more instead of just laying flat like this right here. I wish that it propped a little bit more. Again, like I said, this one here has RGB lights, which is cool if you like RGB lights. So you can sit there and change the RGB lights. I wish there was a white. There's not a white uh, light. I wish there was a white version. Um, the plug for it, let me go ahead and unplug it. The plug for it is pretty long. We got plenty of cable for it. Ugh. So 
we got plenty of cable. I mean, it's still here in the middle. So plenty of cable, which I, re I mean, I'm one of them ones. I'm a big believer in having a long cable. Uh, the one side is USB-C, and it also has an adapter that is attached to it, which is really nice to see by companies to do this. It only costs probably an extra three, four pennies, uh, but it is USB-C to USB-C with the adapter on it to go to USB-C to USB-A. What I commend Fifine is they're really, really coming out their comfort zone. And if you haven't seen my other video, I do have the Ample Gain new capture card. This thing right here really, really impressed me. Built quality, man, it has a decent weight to it. Elgato has a, a way smaller cable, way smaller. So I, I'll give that to Fifine. The button feel is not clicky. They're very soft. They're very soft feel. It's, it's nice. I, I do like that. Don't get me wrong. The Elgato over here, I'm, I'm down here pushing the Elgato. It, it's, um, they're, they're soft as well. All right, so down to the negatives. One is we need more plugins. I think I have three negatives. One is plugins. We need more plugins like the Discord. Don't get me wrong. You can still put it on there. It's not like you can't put a, an icon for Discord or anything on there and you can't open up Discord. Two is going to be the icons themselves. We need we need more icon packs. I Elgato kind of already got the animation going, and since they've already had these animations going, if I find I believe you should have already been able to do this. I, I I really do. And then the last one for me is going to be no no room for angling. You know it's it's there and. You, you're going to have to get something to prop it up, most likely, depending on how you sit on your desk. If you sit lower on your desk, then it'll be fine. Other than that, I'm really, really not seeing, uh, you know, the negatives there. So as of October 18th, 2024, the Elgato is uh, the 15-button one. Uh, the same one that I have is 129 right now. And then the Fifine D6 Stream Deck is... Um, 8361. A good fifty dollar difference. So the question would be is what features are you really looking for that one might have than the other? Which the only thing that I'm seeing as far as feature wise is the animated icons. That's it. That's the only difference that I'm really seeing between it. Uh, I know Fifine, they are staying up on top of their game right now, and I know that they are going to come out with update after update after update for this thing. They are really, really good at doing their updates and pushing out their updates. There's my take on it. I mean, I like it. I think that uh, it is worth your hard-earned money. I think that it's roughly a $50 uh, difference right now, and $50 in 2024 is $50 in 2024. If you're not worried about that, that animated icons. That is my review of the Ample Gain D6 again by Fifine. I, I think that is 100% worth your hard earned money in 2024. $50 difference. You can buy that. Go buy a controller. You know, if you're getting it for your kid for Christmas, buy them that, a new controller, buy them that, buy them a Fifine mic. I mean, you, you'll have $50 to spend somewhere else if that animated text isn't a huge thing for you because that's literally. The biggest, biggest difference as of right now is still controls OBS, Twitch, and everything else that you need it to control. But anyways, that is my 100% honest review. I'm Thomas with Tomology. I'll catch you in the next one.